previously on Flapjacks 24-7. This is Flapjacks 24-7. Good morning. It's game day. I'm walking to work. Beautiful Thursday morning. We play, uh, play the Mountain Dudes tonight. Should be a fun, fun game. You got the... Uh, Panther Hollow. I wouldn't go swimming in there, but it's pretty cool to look at from up here. It's a pretty nice little area. Nice little walk. Gets me going, gets me in the zone. You need to be in the zone. You gotta be in the right mindset or else people are gonna just run all over you. You gotta be ready, you gotta be ready to slam. You gotta be ready to jam. Hi, it's Brett Foley again. I'm here to do the uh day of scouting report on the Mountain Dudes. Alright, we got number one for the Mountain Dudes. His name is Johnny Dudermeister. He's really good. Got some good stick handling. Got some really nice uh, shorts. He likes to wear khaki shorts with high socks. If you use inquisitive jokes, you'll be able to get past him quicker. We got uh, number 17. That's Lester Fandora. He's excellent. Excellent stick handler. Great. Except for he's only got one eye. That's something I think we'll use to our advantage. Next we got number 18, and that's Leonard Fitzmore. Leonard Fitzmore, there isn't really more to say about Fitz. So, moving on, number 21 and a half is uh, Robert Smith. He's got a great mustache. Number uh, 30, 34. That lady was looking at me. I said, lady, what are you looking at? Anyways, Barry Johnson, 34. He's really big. He's good at the defense. Pushing that puck out, getting it out. You got number uh, 30, uh, 37. And that's uh, Ryan Fitzmore. The Flapjacks carry a 3-0 record into Game 4 of the season versus the Mountain Dudes. The team is wearing their alternate Sons of Guns uniforms in a sign of diplomacy towards the green-wearing Mountain Dudes. I hope these guys don't want to run, because that would not be really fun. <laughs> they look like they're on this. Yeah. Nice. 
DJ. Due to technical difficulties, only one flapjack goal was captured on D. Mike Lyon had a breathtaking shutout performance, leading the Flapjacks to a 5 to nothing victory. Four days later, the Flapjacks carry their four-game win streak to the Center Ice Arena to take on the Shark Bears. Say, fl go Flapjacks. Go Flapjacks. Oh, Jacks. Go Flapjacks. Go Flapjacks. Go Flapjacks. Alex Marzellis, Flapjacks forward, number 34, driving to uh, our fifth, fifth game, I think. I, yeah. You know, we've had some success this season, 4 0. I think that's pretty good. This team we're supposed to be playing tonight, I think we have a good chance to beat them, get to 5 0. We've been playing money at center ice, you know, and uh, I just think that it, it, it's our year to get the title. I don't, I don't give a fuck what anybody says about it. I know there's a lot of haters out there. A lot of people don't know what Flapjack hockey is about, but that's their prerogative, you know? You know, I'm on my way to the, go pick up uh, number 89. I act as his uh, chauffeur, you know? I serve more than one purpose on the team. I, I, uh, I'm a grinder, first off, and chauffeur, second of all, so. I'm also uh, uh, narrating Flapjacks 24/7, so look out for for my serious voice when uh, that comes out. But uh, signing off before uh, on this pregame drive. This is Alex Marzellis, number 34, Flapjacks, Jack until I die. Do it. Say a little something for the game. Uh, you know, we got a, we got a Daniel Smug and Sully. I don't know what kind of accent that was. It doesn't matter. We're going to win this one. For sure. I mean, I'm hoping we put out at least 10 goals against this team. At least 10. I'm looking for 5, maybe yeah, 6. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I guess this is it. Center uh, Ice is right up there on that hill. Taylor, you got anything to say? Go with Jack. Here you go, Flapjacks yeah, from all our fans. Yeah. Let's do it! Boom! Everybody say hi. Alex, the throwback short thing from a couple of days ago. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Are you doing? You better say hi. Did you steal that? What? The laser area yeah, sign? No, it's, it's from, from yeah, work. work. <laughs> what? Well, has been asking for it. For oh, months. really? Yeah, I said something about how I have like a sign that said caution laser area. He's like, I want it, man. <laughs> Arm circles to really get that blood flowing. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want to think about? <laughs> you got two of your favorite things in your hands. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the one, the one is a pile, a pound of deli meat. The other is your member. <laughs> and you just smash them. <laughs> After a long delay due to player targets, the Flapjacks finally took the deck, but had to play a shortened 10 minute first period. Also, due to more technical difficulties, the following game's highlights are bluish.
Lost two on one. Somebody back! Get back or get off! Change it off!
That one's ridiculous. The team pummels the shark bears with a 9 to 4 thrash mauling. What's up, Flapjacks? 24 7. This is Jay Grubin, number 81. Uh, just, I'm in here in the gym right now. As you can see, here, look, look, getting big. Get my swole on. Right now, I'm gonna start some running. Get my conditioning up. I know I've been running that much, but yeah, I've been running like 10 miles a day. It's a little less than my usual 15. So, on the treadmill right now, we're gonna start with like 8 miles. Probably take me like 5 minutes. I like to say, start walking out. Walking it out first, and then I'll get up to running, jogging, stuff like that. On this particular unit, I can increase the speed however much I want. Uh, increase the incline, so I'm like running up the hill, build up, build up them calf muscles. I'm not going to be able to make it to this game on Saturday against, uh, I think it's Joe Mojo's or something. I think we won like 7-3 to three last game. I had a couple goals, Perkins had a couple goals. Kineska. Had a freaking goal. Grendel scores a a lofter from the point. Yeah, it should be should be a good game. Perkins and Perkins and Swakus, both the Swakuses, will step it up. We'll take home that Gino. Wish I was there to get a couple points. Can be back up in the in the running for number one in points. Perkins is up there right now. Went last last time I played in this league. Freaking came first and we lost in the second round of playoffs. Nobody still beat my point record throughout the, the rest of the playoffs. I don't know, man. I just gotta get my head out of my ass. After I run this like 10 miles here, I'll probably just throw on some Black Hawk Down. Those badass movies. Maybe Fight Club. I'm like a real fighting mood right now. <sighs> sure again. Just got done with my warm up 15 miles. I had to push myself today. I didn't told you I was gonna do like 10, but kind of pushed it, got 15 out. So it only took me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know, maybe I should go to the Olympics. I like to do some push-ups here. The uh, they're not perfect push-ups, but they give you a couple inches of boost so you can get down lower. There they are, those things. Oh, I got this total gym here. Really works your biceps and your triceps. Those are in your arms. Good for being strong in the ball, holding the ball. Here it is. Pull yourself up on that. I personally like to uh, make it harder on myself and put on this 45 pound weight vest. So, I like to start off easy with 35 pounds on each side. Do maybe like 50 reps of that. And then, I, I don't know if you can see them, the big, those big black ones right there. Those are 45 pounders. I like to start with, the, I like to end with those. Just get, get that extra swole on. Um, so that's about it. That's my weight room. I'm gonna go up and get a drink real quick. Take a quick five minute poop and then get on lifting. So I'll catch you guys later. Make sure you take care of that Gino on Saturday. Get lots of points because we need to beat uh, Fagator's army for first place. They're 5 0 too, but they have more goals. So make sure you score as, score as many goals as you can. Don't let up. Grubic out. So we got a game today at three against G Boozies. And uh, Perkins has been mustache boy for like a year and a half at this point, for Christ's sake. So I decided. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that a mustache on you, Jason? Oh, yeah, it is. Ladies, don't get too close to the screen. Yeah, I know. It's pathetic. But uh, I got a little performance enhancement for my mustache. Right here. Oh. It's a mustache party. That's actually what it fucking says. A mustache party. Yeah, I spend money on dumb shit. But, uh, yeah. You got Mario and Hogan and Chaplin and Einstein and Magnum and Dali. He's the guy that painted the melting clocks for anyone that's dumb. Anyway, I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear, but I'm definitely wearing a fake mustache to pick up Perkins today. So, anyway, games at three, center ice. Uh, I'm predicting a... Close win, because we're going to be shorthanded today. And, uh, yeah, hopefully if I'm wrong, Swakus edits this out, but probably won't. But, uh, yeah.
Uh, six to two. Six to two. Sounds good. All right. In the Flapjacks' unprecedented fourth straight game at center ice, the team attempts its first 6-0 start in franchise history.
The elite goal was not enough for G. Boozy, and the Jacks improved to 6-0 for the first time ever. The Jacks faced their biggest test yet in Team FHL, featuring former Flapjacks Andrew McDonald and Jamie Zelina. Okay, ask us why we left. How'd you feel <laughs> backstabbing and then... Yeah, I'll, I'll okay. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, last year we won, a, more Canadian. we won a championship in OA and uh, <laughs> with the Flapjacks, uh, they didn't sign us to a new deal. <laughs> I kind of let myself go, as you can see. I, didn't, I haven't got a haircut since last season. But, um, you know, it's nice to Team FHL. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I have a real bad you got some real jacks problem since, on your... since the, the uh, flapjacks cut me loose, but you know, luckily, um, <laughs> luckily Team FHL gave me a chance, and you know, um, today was just a blessing playing, playing against my former mates and my, my good friends, and um, you know, we didn't have Bart can't take any day for granted. When we see you in the playoffs, when we see you in the playoffs, it's going to be a different story. You're going to be singing a different song. Yeah. So. You're not going to see us in the playoffs because we're in a different division. We're, anyway. we're bumping up. We're bumping up. <laughs> they do move off sometimes. Yeah. Alright, I'll tell you why I left the flat today. Uh, I found out via Twitter that yeah. Superstar Grant Perkins had a small relationship with my mother in high school. I just couldn't look him in the eye in the locker room anymore, so I had to take my talents elsewhere. And uh, I still can't look at him with a straight face, but I think I'm getting there with so Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, boys. <laughs> See you later. We're waiting for the final cut. Oh, yeah. Edit that out. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> The Flapjacks were dealt a harsh reminder of how much work needs to be done. With only three games remaining in the regular season, the team will attempt to perfect their craft and hone their skills before the playoffs begin. Break this silence we've shared for so long. I will be strong. I will not leave a letter. Nothing at all I'm sure you won't notice That I'm even gone Why did I stay here? I stayed for so long